Hello everybody, this is Abraham at North Shore Computer Services and today I'd like to show you a clicking hard drive um, that we're going to have to recover data from. Uh, this hard drive has uh, not been dropped, has not been kicked, it just stopped working by itself for no apparent reason. Uh, there may be damaged heads. Um, but I suspect that uh, it's an electronics issue where the controller board is no good. So what I did, because this is a Western Digital 40 gig hard drive, it's old, but it'll get the point across of uh, data recovery possibility with a clicking hard drive. There is a specific click that you can watch out for and there is possibility of recovering data from it. So what I did is uh, because I suspect that it's an electronic circuit and the hard drive was uh, uh, fairly popular, I got three donor hard drives that uh, we're gonna try and uh, get the uh, electronics chips from. So let's plug in our hard drive and hear the noise that it makes. As you can see, the hard drive is clicking. The system is trying to recognize the file system. But it's not going to. So, I have run this for a while before and uh, uh, it let's turn this off. No reason in uh, making its life miserable any more than we have to. On average, you don't want to make the bad hard drive suffer for too long, one two minutes at most, because every time you're trying to do something with it, uh, you're actually reducing its lifetime. So. What we're going to do is pull out the circuit board and replace it with a circuit board from a donor hard drive. For this job I'm using Torx. Uh, most hard drives will use Torx. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, size on it is T9. Uh, but this is specific to this particular hard drive as I said there's uh, other torques that uh, other hard drives would use other torques so on this circuit board we have four chips this chip controls the motor spin of the platters this chip controls the head movement this two are the interface controllers so uh, they basically this one reads the information this transmits the information as you can see this is an older IDE hard drive but they all have the same problems so I have the board out of one What you want to do before you start taking it apart is you want to mark which board, like maybe um, one, one, you know which board went with which hard drive. Uh, it's very important, especially the bad one. So we'll just replace or transplant the board.
Okay, so we have our hard drive. Let's uh, put a little B on it to call it the bad hard drive. And uh, we're just going to plug it in and see what happens with a donor board from a different hard drive. Okay, turn it on. It's not clicking, that's a good sign. But I don't hear the hard drive ahead is not seeking. And as you can see, I do not see the hard drive mounted. There's only a system hard drive and a DVD ROM in there. So, before you start getting discouraged, what you want to do is if you have more than one donor, just keep going and see what will happen. So, we're going to take this board off. And uh, I understand it's easy for me to be calm. I've done this many times. Uh, you might be a lot more um, under pressure because of the um, information that's probably valuable. So we're going to mark this as number two. And we're going to take the board off transfer it now one thing that unites all these hard drives is they're all identical boards um, the hard drives are identical, the boards are identical the plant that manufactured these drives is the same. Um, there are few insignificant sticker differences, but stickers are not critical. I mean, not stickers, the writing on a hard drive. As I have discovered, the writing doesn't really have to be identical for this trick to work. So now we have the second board. Let's see what will happen. Makes a sound as if it's going to mount. Again, I do not hear the hard drive seeking. You would normally hear uh, the absence of clicks does not mean that the hard drive is actually doing its job. It's probably visible to the computer. If we go to my computer and go to manage and uh, disk manager Okay, so the hard drive is visible. That's a good sign. But because I have one more um, disk, I want to see what the last controller will do. Um, the recovery software might be able to look through this, and that's probably what we'll have to do 
depending on the damage that was done to the hard drive. So as you can see that uh, the hard drive is visible now and it's reading properly whereas before it wasn't visible at all it was basically just clicking. So let's just for kicks uh, try the last uh, controller and see what we're going to find. So we are making progress um, just not the progress I was hoping for. So we got uh, number two. Let's take that off. And let's let's do the number three. As I said, if you have only one controller, you might have to go. Um, you may have to work with what you have. Uh, I want to make this understood that each controller works differently. They have coatings. They have firmware that might not be identical inside of them even though boards and chips are identical so I'll just lower the camera here and move the donor hard drive away let's connect and of course don't forget to mark so this was number three turn it on There. That's seeking. And that's much better. As you can see, replacement of the controller not only brought the hard drive back to life, but we actually don't have to use any recovery software. Here's your information. All the stuff. So to recap, uh, what we have done is, and you, you may have guessed, uh, this is not the first time that I'm doing this. Uh, I wanted to bring the point across that each controller, no matter how similar, uh, is different on coding and how it works with the hard drive itself. Um, sometimes if you really can't get any more hard drives and you still need the information you might actually transplant the chips these two chips are transplantable you can detach this chip and put it on the original um, controller and I had success in doing that not for the faint-hearted, that operation could go wrong, horribly wrong. Plus, you need to know the soldering, um, but it's doable. Sometimes it's um, there is a diode on here. Uh, normally, it's located somewhere close to the power uh, connector. Just get something sharper here but on this hard drive uh, I believe it's right here you can see the little diode sign this could blow if this it, it should allow electricity going only one way or I should say current go only one way but if this blows your whole circuit will get locked all you need to do is replace this diode and the hard drive will work I've done it myself I had replaced this chip, I had replaced this chip, and I had replaced the diode very successfully being able to uh, recover information from the hard drive. 
So even though the controller may be dead, there is still hope on recovery without invasively opening the hard drive and basically messing it up. Um, some hard drives you have to open. Uh, they may have heads stuck on them. These are desktop hard drives, so heads really don't get stuck on these platters. Um, but conceptually it could happen. So as, uh, as you can see, the hard drive is operational, fully operational. In fact, with this type of repair, you can put the hard drive back in the computer. Because we didn't open the top, no seals have been broken. It is in fact still under warranty, if this was a warranty issue. Um, the hard drives have several ways that they can get fixed and one of the ways is controller replacement. One of the things is this is an older hard drive. Newer hard drives manufacturers mate controllers to the information on the platters. So the firmware is actually getting loaded sometimes from the moving platters into the, um, the controller. It's not good. Um, you're gonna have very small to no luck in trying to get the information off of it this way without any invasive procedures. But as you can see, this is fairly simple, um, fairly painless, uh, provided you get the right controller. The reason I had all these hard drives is uh, I was lucky. I was able to get more than one hard drive that was nearly identical to the broken one and I just kept trying. I was discouraged once. Believe it or not, I hit it a third time. Um, that's how it goes. So keep trying, keep trying and eventually it'll divulge the information. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, subscribe and thank you so much.